Christmas. Don't you? Happy, happy memories. One Christmas sticks out among, amongst all the others. That squeal of delight as our daughter Katie looked up at us and asked us, where did you find it? Yes, that present. You remember, don't you? The one you couldn't find anywhere. No one could. It was sold out. But I found one. I had to drive all the way to Quincy in a snowstorm to find the last one on the shelf. But was it worth it? Oh, the smile on my girl's face and the tear in her eyes as she hugged both of us tightly, then ran off to play with it in her room. Can you remember that kind of excitement for a Christmas gift? Walk with us later that evening through lightly falling snow to the home of a struggling family in our neighborhood. I remember the joy we felt as we delivered Christmas ham with all the trimmings. Their young daughter was so excited for the food, but her eyes locked on our daughter Katie and that new present. Her eyes got even larger as Katie looked down at her present then looked back up at us and smiled before handing over her cherished present to that young girl. Merry Christmas, she said. Can you even imagine how we felt at that moment? Our hearts were bursting with joy as we wiped away tears. The young girl hugged that present and then hugged our Katie for a very long time before they both jumped up and ran into the bedroom to play. Later at home that evening, Katie told Grandma and Grandpa about her fun gift giving. Katie was playing with the wooden characters of our family nativity set and asked Grandma if the wise men felt happy like she did when they gave their gifts to the baby Jesus. Grandma told her she was sure they did. Then Grandma reminded Katie that the first gift of that holy night was not what the wise men or the shepherds brought. The first and greatest gift of all was the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, a gift from our loving Heavenly Father. Katie looked up at Grandpa and asked, I wonder what it was like to be there that night.
Wow. 
only imagine the sacred feelings that were going through their hearts and minds. The excitement to see the Lord Jesus at his birth. <clears throat> I wonder if they wanted to shout Hosanna or if they felt like singing Bert with joy. Can you imagine what they might have felt? Can you hear what they might have heard? How blessed they were to witness the events of that most holy night. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flocks by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. Ye shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with an a the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace, good will toward man.
As we celebrate Christmas and give gifts to loved ones and family, may we remember the greatest gift of all, the Savior of the world, born in Bethlehem of Judea. We testify that Jesus is the Christ. All that we could bear witness, as did the angels, with songs of peace and joy. How we long to bow reverently at his feet, as did the shepherds and the wise men, and honor him with the only gift we have to give, our whole heart, our love, and adoration. Silent night, holy night, Son of God, love's pure light. May we remember the birth of the Lord, of our Lord the Savior, and Savior Jesus Christ this Christmas and always. When directed to do so, we invite the audience to join the choir in singing the second and third verse of that beloved hymn, Silent Night.
Thank you once again for coming and have a merry, a very merry Christmas.